been like three weeks since I actually did another video. Because I'm wicked awesome and I actually have had like tons of time to do one. The problem is I have nothing to talk about whatsoever. Nothing's happened. I can't find a damn job. I have handed out probably over 30 resumes. I got a call from McDonald's. They won't hire me because I'm going to be educated. I'm going away in August and they don't want to train me for three months. And then I managed to get a score a quick like 14 point some odd seconds interview. Seconds? Second interview with this lady or this pizza place, which I'm kind of happy I didn't get that, the job because it was, she was scary. Um, she was wearing Crocs, a pair of track pants, a sweater with like kitties on it, like the one high neck doesn't show like has no form really and her hair looked like someone had burned the ends it was like white and like Rawr. and she's like so have you had have had any like experience I'm like worked at a pharmacy she's like restaurant experience I'm like no I've never worked in a restaurant but then she like it's like well I don't think this is the job for you and I'm like oh okay I'm not gonna argue with you she's like we need someone with experience I'm like it's like a very bit and then I was like okay see ya Bye. I'm kind of counting on Wendy's. Turns out in order to work at like a restaurant -y restaurant, you need restaurant experience. In order to get restaurant experience, you have to work at a restaurant. So it's like it, it's like chasing your tail. You can't, you'll never actually get it. But anyway, what have I been doing? I've been making stuff and sewing and stuff like that. I'm riding my bike like a crap load. I do a bike ride every other morning and like slowly they're getting longer because I really have nothing to do. So like it started off with like a, Half an hour bike right now is up to an hour. I don't even know I'm biking for an hour until I come back. I'm like, whoa, I've been gone a whole friggin' hour. That's crazy talk. But um, uh, I've been sewing like, before. I made a candy jar, sort of, out of a salsa jar. Well, it's not really made, because the jar was right there. I just made the top look cool and put a bow on it. That just came undone. It's very upsetting. So during my bike ride yesterday, I um, uh, went down the street. It's like, I got a new bike. It's really cool. It's like pinky red and white. I'm from Zellers, because Zellers is the coolest place to go. I don't freaking care where my bike comes from. People are gonna be like, you got a bike from Zellers, what are you for? I'm gonna be like, it's a bike. As long as it goes straight and doesn't like fall over and it switches gears and can go up hills and not break, I'm pretty happy. Anyway, I was riding my bike and I came around the corner and they're like, there's this, there's this truck in the, the street and it's doing stuff. Like, I better slow down because I don't know what exactly he's doing. He's like turning, kind of. Well, it turns out he's trying to angle the board to a driveway because there's a car there and he's gonna push he's pushing this car up the driveway because the drive the, the car not the driveway the car didn't have the ability to get up the driveway it's like a 1993 Pontiac thing and there's this old Ford truck pushing it up the hill it's like the greatest moment so far of yesterday only yesterday there was a couple other good moments before that during the week but that was my yesterday that was yesterday's highlight yeah. I was watching the news and I don't quite understand how when your team wins for something, my mom and I were discussing this, why do you riot? It's like, yeah, they won, let's burn stuff. Let's flip cars because they won. Yeah, well, destructiveness because of winning. Why? Shouldn't you be like, let's decorate the street with streamers. Confetti, you know? Let's not, let's burn things, loot the buildings because they won. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't get it. Riot because they won? Shouldn't you riot because they lost? Shouldn't the other team be rioting? Whatever, I don't, I don't, I don't riot yet. So this past weekend I went up and saw the house I'm gonna be living in. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna decorate it like craziness so when people walk in they're like, what? That's what we're going for, is like the what factor. My room is pretty small, it's smaller than this one. It's kind of disappointing, but I'm like the master of disaster. I'll make it work. I'm crafty. I'll make it comfy and cool. Get some Christmas lights strung. Um, it's got a pretty big closet. Although there's a vacuum central back thing, but it doesn't work. So I don't have to worry about that thing kicking on. Just get the crap out of me. That'd be great. Um, turns out my dresser in this room, I've been trying to get rid of it forever because I hate it. Because it's like big and it's brown and it's old. And I'm almost there because I got another dresser that I'm refinishing. I sand it down and then stain it. Which sanding's taking longer than I'd hoped. And when it rains, you can't really do it because the garage is full of Jeep. Um, anyway, I get there and I'm like, oh my god, that dresser is exactly the same. There's the same dresser there, and but the only difference is, is the handles are different. 
frustrating because I thought I beat this dresser. I went to the bar for the first time a couple weeks ago. We were walking back. It was a lot of fun. Because, <laughs> like, the bar was dead, but I was with my friend Julie, so it was just like the two of us. And we went to this other bar, my friend was working. And it just was ridiculous. Um, anyway, we're walking back to my house, and this guy pulls up beside us. It's like, I don't know, midnight ish. He pulls up, and he's like, hey, guys looking for a good time? My friend Julie's like, what? Excuse me? And he's like, do you guys need a ride? And it's like, I thought it was supposed to be like a girl that was like, you guys looking for a good time? And it's like, and then we walked down my street, and, he, and as we were walking, he pulled to the left, and we continued straight, because that's where I live. I live down there. Yeah, I'm glad I should draw you a diagram. But anyway, we get up my halfway up my driveway and I turn around to see this car drive by. That's the same kind of car he drove. And I was like, great, now he knows where I live. I haven't seen him since though. So that's good. But that was weird. Because where I live, it's weird. People get drunk at like two on a Friday. They like walk by the bar. I'm like, why are you at the bar? It's two in the afternoon. Well, anyway, I'm going to finish this video up by saying goodbye. And I'm going to do my little rant and then say goodbye again. Like I usually do because it only makes sense for me to do... A little talking bit before say bye again it's raining out okay i lied it's not raining out but it's kind of gloomy looking and there's a really big cloud over there calm for thunderstorms i think let me check my widget it's not loading load 10 after one but the weather one is still blank top news stories is also blank my desk chat serves. Oh, my printer's not hooked up. Oh, bound. Okay, wait. It's Thursday. Well, it says this one's supposed to be cloudy. Tomorrow's supposed to rain. Thunderstorm. Friday. Saturday, it's supposed to. Anyway. I have nothing to do Friday night, so what the hell do I care? I need a job. Okay, anyway. Talk to you later. Have a good week.